Hey guys, what is going on? Aspect here, and welcome to a new tutorial. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to do a Twitter header, some pretty like the ordinary things uh, that people, most people do in the Twitter headers. Um, I mean, let's just go over to my portfolio. Over at Aspect, there we go. That loads. So, I'm just going to show you how to do things kind of like this and this. Um, just like simple stuff. Um, so let's get to it. So the first thing you need to do is you need to know the measurements of Twitter headers. So it's 3000 width pixels by 1000 height. While that loads. Okay, so. So that doesn't, yeah, do, okay. So if you go over to Twitter, that's basically the length of this. Mine is horrible at the moment. Uh, it's the length of that, and it's just this. Um, so I'm gonna show you a pretty simple one. So let's just go and, I don't know. We, let's get a picture of, oops. Okay, let's get a picture of, I don't know, Star Wars. Uh, images. Let's have a look. Let's pick up this one. Okay, so we just copy that, plop it in there. Okay, just resize it. So you're gonna do Shift Alt and then just come up to the side of this thing here, and it, it will resize it, keeping the like dimensions of it, um, and then bring it down to about there. That looks fine. Bring it down a little bit more. Okay, that looks fine. Okay. So to achieve the this look, if we go back to portfolio, to achieve kind of like this look or this, you're gonna have to use a gradient map and a gradient map is located here, just this little thing down here. Uh, and it's gonna have two colors. You can use more if you want. Uh, I usually just stick to two. Uh, you can go down and you can get, grab a color. So the first one you're gonna use uh, if you type in this to the like color hash, you can type in 202233. It's like a really darkish bluish purple, uh, and it's really good for like making colors pop. Um, so if you go over to the other color, bring this a little bit lighter, you can kind of choose what you want. I kind of like the greenish bluish kind of thing like going on here. Uh, I did actually use that on these two here. Uh, so yeah, I really like that. Um, so let me just find a pretty good one. So you can just mess around with colors. I mean, look, the reds and stuff, they all work. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go with that red, because that looks really nice. Yeah, okay. So at the moment, it's looking decent. It's looking pretty cool, uh, just for a simple one. Um, so now you kind of wanna add some lighting. Uh, you don't wanna add too much, but it is helpful to add lighting. So if you just add, I don't know, you just grab like a soft brush um, like this and just add just a little bit of light in it to the top of the design. It just makes it look a little bit nicer. And you can also, if you want, just go to the layer below, create a new layer and go ahead and grab this brush. It's the same color that we used for the thing, so 202233. Uh, and if you just go across like that, and then go across to the like, I don't know what you call this. This bar up here, I don't know what you call it. Um, and then just go to soft light. It kind of make, makes it darken. And just darken it a little bit, like that. And then you can go across and say you wanted some text. We can go across to here. We can make, uh, I want to just do aspect like that. Let's make that white, like so. And we can grab the rulers to center it. Or actually, no, we'll use my logo. We'll use my logo. Here we are. And we can just make that a little bit bigger, like that. Now, you might want to put like a drop shadow on something like that. Uh, personally, I don't usually put them on, but for this, because there's quite a detailed background behind it, you might have to just to make the colors pop a little bit more. 
Okay, to add to this, we could probably take the... What is this called? The poly... Polygonic lasso tool. And just take it like that. Uh, then create a new layer and let's take the red like that and just put it over like that and then we could do soft light or let's have a look what else works okay do dark and color and you you can't really see it so that's that's good uh, you can do a drop down and just do like probably 20 let's try 50 like that okay and now if you have any work if I can just do that you can bring it over like that and if you have any work that you want to display you can simply let's just grab something let's go into 2016 and let's just grab this Okay, so so you can display your work in here, you need to go across to here. Uh, and actually, should we bring this under? I think we should. Bring this under like that. Can that still look alright? Um, okay. To bring this probably up again, just so it looks a bit nicer. Uh, and you can go across to your work, which is down here. Uh, and you can just grab the lasso tool again and pull it down Take it around Rasterize it before you cut and There you are Let's take some more work Let's just pull this in Uh, I'm just being quick with this so you can like you could probably add more work into this uh, Make it look a little bit nicer, but I'm just quickly doing it. so you can just add in your work like this and That is pretty much it. That's just a quick tutorial uh, I don't really know what you guys want to see but this is like just a quick short tutorial uh, Straight to the point. It's pretty clean and professional. So if you want you guys want to see anything else in the future then Put it down in the comments and I will get to that as soon as possible so thanks guys for watching, my name is Aspect and I'll see you in the next video. See ya. It's caught in the crossfire.